Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we will learn how to import and how to make some nice footage with our bike rides. So in order to do that, we need some software. The purpose of this tutorial is to learn how to make overlay over your video, like you saw on our channel. So if you are going to have some sensor on your Garmin Edge or some device, I will teach you how to put some speed, power, heart rate and so on on your video. So let's get started. First, we need some software to do that. So the first will be verb edit from Garmin. You just go to Google and you just press verb edit. So now what is your computer, Windows, Mac, you just need to press download for Windows in our case. So now the version, it's like this, 5.3. The recommendation is write it here, but if you are coming here, for sure you have a good computer. So let's start to download. It's an old version of the software because I don't know why Garmin stopped update this software. It was very good. And now we are waiting for the software to download. After that, we just install the software and we will start to use the overlay setup. We just open the folder and you install the software like usual. As you can see, I have it already installed. So waiting for you guys to install the software and we are coming back. We open the verb edit software. We create a new video. We just put here a name, project one, create video. And now let's import some media. Import lips and photo, import from other, and now we just go to location where we have the footage place on our computer. I have it right here. This is my file. 55 gig open. And now it will ask you to copy or to import. I just press import only. And now we are waiting until it's optimizing the clip for the verb edit. We are coming back after it's finished. Okay, so now we have the software installed. Everything is in place. So now what we need, we need the file from our ride, okay? So you go outside, you just put your sensor, you just put your heart rate monitor, you just sync your power meter and you go for a ride. And now you are coming home, you are downloading your fit file from Garmin Connect. So let's go the, to do that. So this is my file that I recorded. This is my last race of the season. Barabim, we have accent, we have power. So all the sensor looking good. And now what you need to do is to go here and you export not GPS, not THX, export original. And this will bring to you a fit file, okay? This is very important, okay? So you have a zip file. And if you go, you see, you have a fit file. So this is what we need for our software to make the overlay, okay? A few moments later. So the video file is optimized. So now we can close this. Of course, it will take... Uh, long time depend on your computer and also on the file size okay so remember that okay so we press okay and now we have the video here and now let's import bring this to the timeline as you can see the video it's upside down because i make it i will rotate the video from here okay and now we have the option G matrix here. So here we have the overlay data. We just need to import some 
file, fit file, make this on my computer. Let's bring the file. As you can see, I just uh, rename it. So fit file. And now, as you can see, it has all the data that we need for this. And use this log, okay? And now the the last step will be to synchronize the data that we have here with the data that we took it from the race, okay? So in order to do that, we just make here geometric sync or we go on the... What we need to do now, it's when you start to record the ride, you just need to remember to sync a little bit in your mind when you start the recording and when you start the Garmin ride, okay? Should be almost identical, okay? Because you will have a file that it's out of sync, okay? So it will be very hard for you to sync. Now we just need to sync the file that we have here. To find the moment that we need for our race. Okay, so now let's go to sync. And as you can see, we don't have in sync our video with the, so it's like 59 seconds or something. Okay, so let's go back to the sync. Done. And now let's see again. And as you can see, we found the spot, so the file is in sync with our video. So now we just need to play with our gauges. So as you can see here, it's like a high rate. We have the heart rate here. This is like high cadence. Very good. This is another high rate. And let's bring some gauges for power. Let's see, we have power, we have power, power. And as you can see, we have power. For example, and it is very good. And if we go here, it's like which power do you want? Power for 3 seconds, power for 30 seconds average. So we just put the power for 3 seconds average. This is the best. And as you can see, we have power data. What else do you need? For example, cadence. If you want, you see, we have it like this, we have it like that. You just need to play now a little bit with the sensors. Which one do you prefer? Okay. This is the gorgeous. If you don't like it, you just delete it. You delete it. And you can look for what do you want. You put here. What gorgeous do you want, as you can see. So the templates are here. You just need to find the best one that suits you. Okay.
there is some templates here you just need to put cycling for example and it will bring to you the cycling templates okay as you can see there are many so you can choose doesn't matter which one do you choose as you can see all the footage have overlays hope you enjoyed this kind of video like it and subscribe it to our channel if you like this kind of content of course i will let uh, down below in the description uh, all the steps that we do and link for download the verb software the final step will be for you now to export the video after you finish so you have here uh, export button you just put and export in your preference remember that when you export it in 4k of course if you record it 4k it will take a long time to encode the file and from here you can choose the quality of the export file and you just press export and you are done thank you guys see you next time bye